Severe storms hitting Metro Detroit. Every county in the area impacted. This was downtown Detroit when the intense rain and wind blew through. Storm Tracker 4 shows how widespread these storms are, and they may be over the area for another two hours. All right, we want to get right over to Andrew. Andrew, we know we have warnings in effect right now. Exactly right. We've been talking about it all day long, all evening long. Warnings have been popping up here and there nearly across all of southeast Michigan. And here are the newest ones. You have a severe thunderstorm warning here in Lenaway County. Once again, that one doesn't expire until 1145. The other one closer to downtown Detroit includes Oakland County, including places like Waterford, also right around Rochester Hills and Auburn Hills with heavy rain that continues to push through. Uh, a tremendous amount of lightning as well with these thunderstorms. Dozens and dozens of lightning strikes over the past just 15 or 20 minutes. But you can see that heavy rain extending from the Pontiac area all the way up through Ortonville and also areas like Holly and around Clarkston and all of this slowly moving to the northeast, actually moving at a pretty good pace at around 20 to 25 miles per hour or greater. So with that, it'll still be affecting areas of northeastern Oakland County, this line right here, including Oxford, and then eventually into areas of southern Lapeer County, the northwestern corner of Macomb County as well, within the next 15 to 20 minutes. This severe line, which is coming out of Hillsdale County, sparking this warning here in Lenaway County until 1145, it is going to hit Adrian, Tecumseh, and areas of eastern uh, Lenaway County between now and about 11. 30, 1145 as well. So obviously best place to be is indoors. Heavy, heavy rain, of course, is a danger. Other hazards include dangerous lightning, even the possibility of hail or damaging wind that can take down power lines and can take down tree branches. In fact, power outages I wouldn't be surprised by. So if you have your mobile devices, make sure they are fully charged so you can get through the night with them.